Hey everybody, Ryan with Fluid Health and Fitness. Today showing you how to do a PNF stretch of your trapezius muscle. This muscle is responsible for shrugging the shoulders, pulling the shoulders back into retraction. Helps with cranial extension and then rotation. So again, it's going to rotate the cranium, move the shoulders around. Sometimes it's overactive, especially the, the upper trap. So to release it through a PNF stretch, a neuromuscular stretch, we're going to need to tilt the head down in the flexion, cranial flexion, cervical extension by nodding the head back or pulling the neck backward. I'm going to laterally tip my head to the opposite side. We're going to show you on the left side today. I'm going to rotate my head to the left and then I'm going to reach my arm forward protracting it across the body. So all of that would passively stretch the muscle. The weight of the head is going to stretch it from the cranium. Again, pulling the arm forward and across will help to hold it there, so I'm using my right arm to help with that stretch. We're going to use an acronym called PAPS, Passive, Active, Passive. So passive was the weight of the body or the head and the active pulling of the arm. Actively, I'm going to pull it through and use my serratus to push forward and laterally tip even harder with my sternos on that contralateral side. Pull that muscle into deeper stretch and then I'm going to hold it there passively. Once you stay there, you can flex the muscle, strain the tendon, which is going to provoke an impulse to relax the tissue so the stretch resistance will calm down. This is the whole concept of PNF stretching, flexing the muscle, straining and then counter straining. So now I'm going to flex the muscle by shrugging up and tipping my ear over to the opposite side, look up, rotate to the opposite side, and then relax it. You can do that for about 10-15 seconds, and then resume the same position. Lateral flexion. Rotation to the same side, look down into cranial flexion, and glide the shoulder forward into protraction. You'll get a deeper stretch. And you can repeat that strategy over and over again, that intent to improve the shoulder depression and retraction cap capabilities. So you're using more of the lower mid-trapezius. You should be able to protract the shoulder more efficiently, better head turning, and again, better cranial flexion. So all the actions that we were limited by um, should improve. Questions on this or how to do the, the action, reach out to us at admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com. And there you are, PNF stretch for the trapezius.